In this video, I'm going to show you how to add voiceover to your PowerPoint slides, sometimes called audio narration. Now, there are three different ways of adding voiceover to your PowerPoint slides, and I'm going to explain all these and some of the related issues. And there could be many reasons for doing this. For example, you can make videos, you can make PowerPoint slideshows, and you can send one file to your audience, to your students, or where you have to make a presentation. And anyone will be able to not only see your slides, but also listen your explanation. So without further ado, let's get started after a short intro. This is my PowerPoint presentation, just using as an example. Most of the audio narration tools in PowerPoint are available in this record tab. If you don't see this record tab in your PowerPoint, then you can right click in this ribbon area and then you click on customize the ribbon. Then on this right hand side, you look for this record because it is possible that this record is not selected. So if it is unselected like this one, you can click here and click OK. So these are the tools that we use for adding voiceover. I said there are three different ways. So the first way is that you click on this audio and there are two different options. Audio on my PC. It means that you have pre-recorded some audio file and that is saved on your PC. And then you can add that file to your slide. So that we will discuss at the end. But the second option is record sound. And this is the first method of recording voice over to your slides. So let me show you how I click on that and then I will see this little dialog box. So let us give it a name slide one and now I'm going to click on this record button and it is a good idea that you arrange the sentences you want to speak before you hit the record button because PowerPoint only has a limited capability for editing this audio file. And the third method that I'm going to show you at the end of this video by using Audacity, which is an external application that gives you a complete control of editing your audio file. But most of the times we only want to use PowerPoint to add our voiceover and we don't want to use any external application. Therefore, the first two methods are most commonly used. So I'm going to hit this red button and then I will start talking about first slide. This is my first slide and this is just a test audio recording. And then I hit stop and this is a six second recording. And when I click OK, this speaker sign will appear on my slide. And normally you put it on the lower right corner. Therefore, I have moved myself towards left. When the person gets your slideshow or the presentation, they will just click on this. This is my first slide and this is just a test audio and they will listen the audio. Now, once you have made a recording, then you will see these two tabs appearing on your PowerPoint, audio format and playback. So let's click on audio format. This is a place where you can customize your speaker sign appearing on the lower right corner. You can select any of these styles. Now in the playback section, you have many options. The most important is this option. Currently, it is set to start automatically. It means that whenever this slide shows up in slideshow, the audio recording will start automatically. But if you want someone to click before the audio starts, then you can select the last option when clicked on. Similarly, you can also set it to loop, but mostly it should be on either automatically or when someone clicks. Let us move on to the second method of recording voiceover. That option is available in this slide show tab and there is a button record and there is a little arrow. If I click on that, I can record from current slide or record from the beginning because I have already recorded slide one. So I click record from the current slide. And now I will see this screen. In this method, what you can do extra in addition to your audio is that you can use some annotation tools. If you want to demonstrate something, if you want to put some arrows, for example, and if you want to write down something on your slides, these kind of things. I have explained this in another video that was uploaded last week. So you can watch that video. 
where I explained all these features available in this option. But in this video, we are going to record audio only. So I click on this record button. Three, two, one. And now I start talking that this is the test audio for my slide two. Stop. And now I can click on this little cross at the top right. And now this slide also has my audio just like the previous slide. So if for example, I wanted to use some annotation tools on this slide, then I would have used this method. Now, as I mentioned previously that PowerPoint gives you a limited option of editing your audio. To edit your audio, you click on the audio file, then you will see this playback, click on that. And then there is the option of trim audio. And now here, as you can see that I have little bit blank area in the beginning, so I can cut that part. Similarly, I can remove this area from the end because this is empty, but I cannot cut anything in the middle. And now if I click on OK, and now I start talking. As you can see that now the audio starts immediately. And now let's move on to the third method, which gives you a complete control on editing your audio narration in PowerPoint slides. But for that, you have to use an external application called Audacity. But it is very simple and it is free and is a very powerful application for editing audio files. Now to get this application, you simply type Audacity in Google and you will reach this page, audacityteam.org. And you can download, and now this is the application. I'm starting the application now. And I'm going to record audio narration for my slide number three in Audacity. To do that, now this red button is for starting recording. And then this stop button will highlight once I started recording. So I'm going to start. This is the audio narration for my slide number three. And this is just a test narration. And then I'm going to give a pause. So I have given a pause here to show you that you can edit very easily any part of your audio in Audacity. So I want to remove this part from the end. So I select with my mouse, click and drag right. And then I hit delete button on my computer. This part will be deleted. Similarly, I can delete from the middle and I can also delete this small part from the beginning. I can even remove this little part. And now I have a perfect and optimized audio recording for my PowerPoint slide. So you saw it's very simple. Now the last step is to export this as an audio file. To export it, I click on File, Export, and there are many formats. The most common is MP3 and WAV format. PowerPoint will accept both of these. So I like MP3, so I click on that. And I save this on my desktop as slide three. It will show this dialog box and I have to click OK. Now the file was very small, so it instantly is saved now. But sometimes if the file is large, you will see a progress bar and it will take few seconds. Now I can close this. And now I open my slide number three and hit the record tab, then audio. And this time, I click on audio on my PC. And now from my desktop, I choose the file and click insert. Now this file will be inserted here. Now I can click on this to playback. This is the audio narration for my slide. Just like that. Now, once you have added audio narrations to your PowerPoint slides, you have three different options. The first option is of course, you can simply save as PowerPoint presentation, just like this file and someone will open this file just like this. They will click here and they will listen to the audio. The second option is that you can directly save this in a slideshow file. And when they will click on that file, a slideshow will open. So let's do that. If I click on record section, I can save this as a slideshow. I click on that and take note of this PowerPoint slideshow PPSX extension. So let us save this to desktop so that I could easily find this. I save this and this is my slideshow. And now I click on this. This is my first slide and this is just a test audio recording. And this is a slideshow now. Third method of exporting all this is as a video. To do that, you click on file. Then you click on export. 
and then you click on create a video and then you will see this use recorded timings and you can click on record video and now i save this on my desktop a progress bar will appear at the bottom of your slides and when it vanishes it means the video is ready now i can minimize this and this is my video this is my first slide and this is just a test audio recording and now i have a perfect video recorded from my powerpoint slides with audio narration so that is it for today i hope you like this video if so please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching and see you next time